Hi, my name is Paul Fink. I'm the president and founder of Racemark Incorporated. It seems that every day we talk to a customer who has an interest in alcohol uh, racing but just doesn't know what to do or how to go about it or what's required. Uh, and they've heard a lot of things positive and negative about it, but they're really not sure what the facts are. So we're here to help uh, you uh, switch from gasoline to alcohol, do it safely, uh, make more power, and uh, have a much better racing experience with it. Methanol, the chemical formula for methanol is CH3OH. It only contains one atom of carbon uh, in the formula structure, uh, which makes it a much more environmentally friendly fuel, releasing less hydrocarbons into the uh, atmosphere. Uh, alcohol is made is a man-made product, and it's made uh, by combining CO2 and hydrogen under high temperature and high pressure. It is a uh, colorless liquid with a very unique uh, smell. Methanol has a boiling point of 52.6 degrees or 67 degrees Celsius. That boiling point comes into play later on that will explain uh, why that is, is so important, especially with regard to bypass fuel systems. Methanol makes about 15% more horsepower than uh, uh, gasoline, uh, depending, of course, on which gasoline you are using uh, and the style of motor and the components that go into the motor. But it's a very rough figure. Alcohol, as a fuel, helps your motor run cooler. The simple reason is, uh, alcohol evaporates very quickly, just as you would probably have experienced with rubbing alcohol when you put it on your hands that feels cold. That cold feeling comes from evaporating very quickly. Methanol mixes with water uh, very easily, and as a result, it also absorbs water very easily. So precautions have to be taken on, on how alcohol is handled and other things that you do uh, in your processes and procedures to eliminate the uh, uh, adding or absorption uh, of water into your racing fuel. Methanol is a lot less vulnerable to weather changes. So for the typical bracket racer, super class racer, uh, this is a huge advantage, uh, when you, especially when you go into the high dollar races and you're running round robin, uh, it can be a tremendous advantage to, to run methanol in your car. Methanol is very corrosive, so precautions have to be taken to uh, eliminate um, uh, alcohol uh, evaporating quickly and uh, leaving a white sort of uh, powdery residue on the inside of your fuel lines, uh, fuel tank, uh, inside of either carburetor or uh, fuel injection system. Uh, how that is accomplished is by mixing two ounces of top oil uh, for every five gallon jug of methanol. Uh, add two ounces shake it up in the five gallon jug and it's ready to use. What that does is completely lubes your fuel system and it eliminates uh, any corrosion inside your fuel tank, uh, the, the white particles on the inside of fuel lines and uh, any sticking parts uh, either in a carburetor or in a, let's say, a, a ROMS toilet. When racing with alcohol, it's a necessity to run uh, a bypass type of fuel system. So any fuel that's not being used or consumed immediately by the engine is returned back to the fuel tank. 
in a, in a circular system. Uh, seeing that the boiling point of methanol is 152.6 uh, degrees Celsius, when put under a lot of pressure, uh, it's very easy to reach that temperature. Uh, as the liquid gets compressed, it builds heat. So th rather than have it being held there, for example, with a regulator, you'd want to go ahead and bypass that fuel right back to the tank, keep it circulating, and as we discussed earlier, uh, uh, alcohol is cool, uh, typically cool when, it, when it's flowing. So uh, it, it tends to keep the system uh, uh, cool so that you don't have those problems with uh, uh, vapor lock and uh, et cetera, et cetera, the, any, any time that uh, a boiling of fuel occurs. Yes. Gasoline, the, the air fuel ratio is about 13.2 to one, 13.2 parts of air for every part of, uh, of gasoline. In the case of, of methanol, the air fuel ratio is 6.4 to one. So the actual ratio difference is 2.0625 difference, uh, twice as much. If this is the first time that you've ever uh, raced or in, intend to race with alcohol, the first thing that you need to do uh, is calculate what the difference would be if you're running, let's say, a carburetor, uh, what the difference in jet size would be between your existing uh, gas carburetor jets and what you would need uh, to run with alcohol. And how you would do this would be uh, simply by mathematics of calculating the area of a circle. As a good example, uh, a 74 jet is 74 thousandths uh, in diameter. The hole is 74 thousandths in diameter. The formula for figuring the area of a circle is pi r squared. That is the mathematical pi, pi, uh, which its uh, decimal equivalent is 3.14159 times the radius squared. In the case of a 74 jet, your radius would be 37 thousandths. You would square the 37 thousandths and then multiply it by pi. That would give you the area of the hole in square inches. You would then multiply that area by 2.0625, which is the ratio difference between what's required for gasoline and the ratio that's required for alcohol. Once you have that and you, you do that multiplication, you would then back into the formula by dividing by pi, which is dividing that sum then by 3.14159, and then taking the square root of that figure. And the best way to do that is to go onto the internet to math.com uh, where you can find a square root calculator. And you would take that sum and the radius would come out to uh, about 0.053135. And you multiply that radius then by two, which would give you the diameter of the jet, which would be a 106 jet. That is the 106 would be roughly 2.0625 um, larger. So that is a starting point. It's not 100% exact, but it would be a starting point for you. So if your carburetor had 74 jets square on all four corners, change uh, with an alcohol carburetor to 106 jets and you'll be very, very close. Methanol is a little bit slower burning fuel. 
So with methanol, you would want to uh, advance your timing just a little bit compared to gasoline. In a small block Chevy, for example, you would want to have somewhere between 36 and 38 degrees of timing. With a large cubic inch small block Chevy, or small block, uh, or a big block, you would want to be in the 32 to 34 degree uh, advanced range. And with a turbocharged or su supercharged engine, you'd want to be in the 28 to 32 degree uh, advanced range. Methanol requires colder spark plugs than gasoline. If, for example, you're using an NGK R5671A uh, spark plug in your gasoline engine, you would want to take those plugs two steps colder when running methanol. Uh, what we have discovered is we run a Polestar pulse plug which actually acts like a capacitor and stores energy between um, uh, firings. An engine on methanol will not st start dead cold on methanol alone. It will not start. You'll wear out a starter before you'll get that engine to fire. What you need to do is you need to prime the engine when you first start it up with gasoline by one method or another. Uh, you have to uh, get some gasoline down the throat of the carburetor, down the throat of your injector, or use a priming system, which we'll detail for you in a little bit later. But you have to start the engine with gasoline, otherwise it just will not start. Methanol race cars, when you're idling around the pits or you're returning, coming down the return road uh, after making a pass, you need to keep the exhaust gas temperature between 500 and 650 degrees so that you don't pollute the oil. Uh, that can be done, let's say, with a fuel injected system by using a fuel shutoff, which we'll detail for you in a little while. Polluting the oil with methanol, because it absorbs water uh, and, you, and cylinder wash is uh, one of the biggest problems with people that run alcohol who don't know what they're doing. Uh, some of the things that we have outlined for you uh, to reduce or eliminate that problem of making your oil milky with the cylinder wash or, um, uh, or water absorption uh, will take care of all those problems. Uh, methanol, like any other race fuel, uh, can be dangerous. Uh, and you need to be aware of uh, what to do to, to make it a better experience for you and not have any problems. The flash point for methanol is much uh, uh, higher than uh, with gasoline. Uh, so that is one of the, the good, really good things about it. Uh, the fumes, however, from methanol uh, prolonged breathing or prolonged um, uh, application on your skin can cause blindness. So don't stick your head down into a jug of, of, of methanol and breathe it for any period of time and don't let it on your skin for a long period of time. Wash it off uh, and you shouldn't have any problems with it whatsoever. Alcohol, when it burns, it burns clear with a very light tint of blue in the flame. Sometimes the flame is almost impossible to see. You would feel the heat from it before you would see, see the flame. Uh, just be cognizant of that fact if you are around it and for some reason you feel any heat. But the chances of that happening are, are, are very low. But just need to be aware of that fact.